Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is using newfangled audio Invigorate on Mixbus. Today, I'm going to use Invigorate to add attitude and to take my track from this... to this. At the very top of Invigorate, we have oversampling. Now we've got a couple of options, and those basically allow us to negate the effects of aliasing, which can happen when you generate overdrive and the extra harmonics that come with it. But perhaps one of the most noticeable features of Invigorate is the radar, which is this large wedge-shaped readout just here. And it has a breakpoint that you can drag around that lets you morph between compression, limiting and overdrive. So more compression, less, through to limiting, or even overdrive. or combinations. Now what's really useful is I can use keyboard modifiers to lock the position of this breakpoint either laterally or vertically. So if I hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC then it locks my position vertically. So I can just use this pendulum type motion to morph between the different sounds. And if I hold Command on a Mac or Control on a PC, then it locks it the other way. So we have a lateral lock and I can just increase or decrease the amount of gain as needed. Then below that, we have the more familiar time constants in the detector. And we also have this control here as well. So we can reduce the amount of low end going into the distortion algorithm, which can kind of clean things up quite nicely. We also have a mix control. I'm running Invigorate 100% wet at the moment, but of course we can get parallel effects if we want. So we can drive Invigorate a little bit harder and then dial some of the dry signal back in. Let's give it some more. And then the compensate gain control, that is basically auto makeup gain. And we can adjust the amount of makeup manually, or we can even get Invigorate to learn that for us. We also have a soft limiter as well. Now that's mainly for aesthetic purposes. So for true protection against overs, then you would need to run a limiter further downstream of Invigorate. And along from there, we have our shape and squash control. So these adjust the curve accordingly and these will interact with whatever mode you have selected above in the radar as well. And then at the bottom of Invigorate, we have the three band filter. Now there are actually three of these. So we have the sensitivity filter, and this is pre-level detection. Then we have the input detector, and you can see from the signal flow diagram here, it shows us that that is in front of the dynamics processor itself. And then we've got the output tone on the back end of Invigorate. So this is without the output filter. And this is with. So that is using newfangled audio Invigorate on Mixbus. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.